How would you respond if confronted by the devil and his legion of demons? Would fear grip you? Or would you attempt to fight them relying solely on your own strength? If you don't know the answer to this question, today's video is here to equip you with powerful Bible verses to confront any spiritual attack. Demons tremble in fear, hoping you remain unaware of these verses. By declaring these verses aloud, no demon can stand in your way. To discover these verses, I encourage you to watch this video until the end. But before that, please feel free to like and follow our page. And don't forget to write down these Bible verses for future reference. Without further delay, let's get started. Within the Christian community, discussions about the devil and how to safeguard our lives from his influence are relatively uncommon. The reality is that not everyone is ready to delve into matters of the spiritual realm, with many opting to steer clear of the subject due to fear. This is why I pose the question of how you would respond if you were to come face to face with Satan. The first step is understanding our most formidable adversary, equipping ourselves with wisdom to act and engage in the battle after all. No one enters a battle unprepared without knowing what they will encounter on the other side as they would easily be defeated. Another thing you need to know is that demons are not as powerful as many people believe. This truth is evident in 1 John chapter 4 verse 4. Take a look at what it says, You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them, because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. What's inside us, my brothers and sisters, is far more potent and formidable than the devil and his legion of demons. So what exactly do we possess within us? It's the Holy Spirit of God, provided we have surrendered our lives to Jesus. However, this doesn't grant us the luxury of letting down our guard. Demons indeed have the capacity to cause trouble in people's lives, but the good news is they aren't unbeatable. In other words, we have the power to confront and overcome them. That's why it's so important to know the authority that God has given us. These malevolent entities operate in the spiritual realm, waiting for moments of vulnerability to enter our lives. However, there's another powerful verse that the devil hopes you won't discover. Consider what James 4 says, Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Look how interesting. By anchoring yourself in this verse, you already possess the key to resist the devil and compel him to flee. The first step is submission to God, meaning we must set aside our own strength and intelligence, aligning ourselves solely with the Lord's will. This fundamental step is essential for protecting yourself from the snares of the devil. You might be wondering, but how do I resist the devil? The first thing is to seek obedience to God. If you sense spiritual attacks and everything seems to be going wrong, it's crucial to reflect on whether you're seeking the Lord, praying, and meditating on His Word. Satan doesn't want you to seek the Lord. That's why he throws traps and distractions your way, aiming to divert your focus, because that's the only way he can continue to act in your life. When we distance ourselves from the Lord's presence, we open the door for the enemy to start working. This occurs because we yield to our sinful desires. There's a rebellion within us that inclines us towards worldly pleasures over spiritual things. And because of these distractions, we feel lazy to pray, to read the Bible, and even to go to church. However, the reality is that we must nurture our spirit more than our flesh. Consider the warning from Apostle Paul. Those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires, but those who live in accordance with the spirit have their minds set on what the spirit desires. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. Romans chapter 8 verses 5 and 6. It's crucial not to heed the cravings of our flesh, as doing so gives the enemy a foothold. We cannot obey God only in certain areas of our lives. God desires our complete obedience, requiring us to consistently seek Him. This demonstrates our dependence on the Lord and shows the devil that we rely solely on God. We must recognize that our existence isn't solely due to our efforts, but is a result of God's permission. You went to sleep and woke up today not by your own will, but because God allowed it. Many others went to sleep last night and didn't wake up this morning. Why? We lack control over such events, emphasizing our need to trust in the Lord. So my brothers and sisters, it's essential to understand that the authority God grants us over the evil one is derived solely from a life of communion with him. And that is exactly what the enemy wants us to lose. The Bible recounts how the devil deceived Eve into eating the forbidden fruit, aiming to lead her away from communion with God 
and thus strip her of all authority. Likewise, he endeavors to keep you in the dark about the power dwelling within you. There are many people who are already with God, but the enemy blinds their understanding. And there are others who do not have a life of communion with God, and as a result, they are easily manipulated and suffer great consequences because of it. The Bible offers a compelling story illustrating the devil and his demons' desire to keep you unaware of the potency of obedience to God. In the book of Acts, we encounter the Apostle Paul performing remarkable miracles, while a particular group aspired to do the same. However, Paul's obedience to God was the source of his power and authority to cast out demons. This group regrettably disregarded the significance of obedience to God as the key to resisting evil. Consider the outcome for these individuals. Seven sons of Sceva, a Jewish chief priest, were doing this. One day the evil spirit answered them, Jesus I know and Paul I know about, but who are you? Then the man possessed by the evil spirit leaped upon them and overcame them all. He gave them such a beating that they fled from the house naked and wounded. Therefore those people tried to cast out the demons without having any authority to do so. And the evil spirit himself communicated that he recognized Jesus and Paul due to their obedience to God. However, owing to their lack of obedience, this group encountered significant difficulties when confronted by evil. They suffered, had their garments torn, and hastily departed, naked and wounded. My dear brothers and sisters, they engaged in a spiritual battle lacking knowledge, faith, and communion with God, ultimately heading towards defeat. We need to know our enemy because in various moments, we will have to make a decision to use God's authority or to cower and allow him to act in our lives. This is precisely why I've created this video, encouraging you to commit James chapter 4 verse 7 to memory. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Brothers and sisters, the secret lies in obedience. Jesus himself said that when we obey his word, he remains in us and answers our prayers. We must understand that we belong to the Lord, and he watches over us. We cannot be friends with the world. We must live in obedience. In conclusion, I'd like to share a psalm that I urge you to keep in your heart and declare whenever fear of the enemy and spiritual attacks grip you. Here's what it says. Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear though tens of thousands assail me on every side. I encourage you to adopt this psalm as your prayer. Trust that God is by your side, protecting you and offering deliverance. Begin seeking the presence of the Lord from this very day. Amen. God bless you.